Let's talk about the most underrated hedge fund manager in the world. His name is Chase Coleman. Chase runs Tiger Global Management, which is a $53 billion, almost $54 billion hedge fund uh, located in New York, and it has made a massive splash in the venture capital space this year and last year especially, but for the last 15 years, he has been highly involved in private equity. But before we jump into his portfolio and how he has made his billions, let's go back to where it all started. Chase was born at a very young age in Long Island. His father was a partner at a law firm. His grandfather was a partner at a law firm. So it's pretty safe to say that this guy had money. He grew up playing with Julian Robertson's son. Julian Robertson was like one of the founding fathers of hedge funds and ran Tiger Management, which is where Chase started his investment career in 1997 at the age of 22. Three years later, Robertson closed his fund and gave Coleman $25 million of seed money. About 20 years later, that $25 million has grown to over $50 billion and has given Coleman a net worth of over $10 billion. Note to self, make a lot of really rich people a lot of money. You will never see this guy's name in the news, but he is the pinnacle of hedge fund investors. I mean, look at this. He had a bunch of celebrities over to his apartment to vandalize it. And that was when he was poor. He only had like a $3 billion net worth at this time. Also, he started a tech fund in 2001. Like, what an absolute legend. The whole world of technology is melting around him and he decides, yep, now's the time. The crazy thing is, is Julian Robertson didn't even believe in technology at this time, but he still gave this guy $25 million. At 45 years old, Coleman is considered one of the best hedge fund managers, not only of his generation, but maybe of all time. His flagship long short fund has compounded at 21% on a net basis for 20 years since its inception. An investment in the fund would have grown 43 times net of fees over the last two decades, or five times greater than an investment in the S&P 500. And you've never heard of this guy. In 2020 alone, Tiger Global earned its investors $10.4 billion, which was easily more than any other hedge fund. Coleman's basic strategy is to buy the best companies and short the worst. Looking at Coleman's most recent 13F filing, it looks like there's not a stock in the world that he doesn't like. I mean, he owns 141 positions, and this only shows his long positions on public companies. I mean, let's go over a few of these. JD.com, which he bought very early on and has owned ever since. Microsoft, C Limited, Roblox, DoggySign, Amazon, Dash, Apollo Global, Carvana, Crowd. I mean, you guys know how to read too, but it's still crazy. And that's not even the cool part. The cool part is his private equity. I mean, he is making waves in the world right now. As of July, like the end of July, he had already done 170 venture deals, which is almost one a day. He's obviously seeing a lot of value in the private equity market and is willing to pay extremely high prices to get into these companies. I mean, his portfolio is basically an index fund of private tech companies. He is on a totally different level. His last venture cap capital fundraising round, they raised almost $7 billion in like three days. I think that was the largest VC raise of all time, and it usually takes firms months to do that, and he did it in three days. What's even crazier is he took that $7 billion and had it all deployed within like two months. They're going to be raising a new round of funding in October for $10 billion. Why do people keep giving him this much money? Well, it might be due to the fact that he was an early investor in Facebook and LinkedIn and Uber and JD.com and Flipkart and Andrew Kumo. The fund's investments in JD.com alone turned less than $220 million into $6.8 billion. Is now targeting ByteDance, which is the owner of TikTok. Let's take a step back. At 25 years old, Robertson gives him $25 million to start a technology fund that Robertson doesn't even believe in. He didn't believe in technology. At the height of the dot-com bubble, or I guess at the, at the, at the popping, at the popped, I don't know, at, at, at the afterbursted bubble, from there, he compounds 21% per year for the last 20 years. And Chase Coleman easily makes himself the highest paid hedge fund manager of the year. And you haven't even heard of this guy. Is there any chance that they were actually doing legitimate due diligence on these private equity deals? They were doing a deal a day. Do you realize how absurd that is? But that is just business as usual for our boy Chase. It is the Chase Coleman's and Warren Buffett's and Mike Burry's and Bill Huang's of this world 
that make me believe I can also beat the market, which will be my ultimate downfall and the downfall of this channel.